What is up everybody, it's me Anthony back with another episode recap of Constellation. We are on episode 5 and we only have 3 episodes left until the season finale and I don't think I am ready for it. Because even though that we are 5 episodes in in the series, I still don't know what the hell is going on. But maybe after I talk about stuff in this video, <laughs> you guys comment down below, we can talk about some of the theories I have, maybe, just maybe. I'll understand what the heck's going on. But if you are new to this channel, don't forget to check out the playlist of Constellation over here so you can get caught up with all the Constellation recaps and theories so you, so you can kind of know where my head is at with this series. But without further ado, let's get into the recap of episode five of Constellation. The episode starts off with Joe calling an ambulance for Magnus. In a panic, Joe takes Alice and goes to her office so she can get more information about what's going on. She listens to an audio file from before everything went wrong on the ISS. After listening to the recording, Joe goes to the lab where the cow device is and takes it with her. Joe calls her crewmate Ilya and tells him about the pill that they were given when they came back to Earth. She asks Ilya to investigate what is in the pill and he agrees. Now everybody needs a friend like Ilya. I mean, this guy is the real MVP of this episode. He really trusts Joe, you know, that's his friend and everything. And he actually does do the investigation, which is surprising to me. At a diner, Joe asks Alice about why she is hiding in cupboards, and Alice says that she hides in them because she is scared of the Valia, a person who tricks her into not playing. Joe goes to call the person who gave her the tapes, and she tells them that she is on her way now. The man on the other side of the phone says that he doesn't know what she is talking about and hangs up. Joe then looks up the two people who sent her the tapes and finds out that they were sentenced for breaching multiple restraining orders for attempting to bribe astronauts with tape recordings of their missions. Having second thoughts about the mission, Joe calls Magnus and tells him that she is sorry for what had happened. Allison gives Joe a drawing of the Valia and it looks exactly like the dead cosmonaut that Joe saw when she was in the ISS. Ilya starts investigating the pills and when he tries to see the medical records they have mysteriously been lost. Yeah sure they have. Irina comes by to ask Ilya why he is looking for medical records and if he has heard from Joe. Ilya says that he hasn't heard from her and if he does that he will let her know. Again, give a round of applause for Ilya being the best friend in the entire world. Joe arrives at Wahlberg and Lorenz's place and Wahlberg tells Joe that they have been taking recordings of what is going on in space for quite some time. Wahlberg takes Joe and Alice on a boat so that they can listen to the space recordings more clearly. Wahlberg says that they need to go out into the water to hear the recordings because it's like space. Wahlberg plays the recording from 1967 of a young female cosmonaut who we kind of already know is Irina. Joe starts to hear a voice, but Alice insists that it is nothing. Wahlberg gives Joe the tape recordings and Alice and Joe make their way to the cabin that we saw at the very beginning of the series. During the ride, Joe asks Alice who is the Valia and Alice says that she is a dead cosmonaut. Joe says that she wishes the tapes worked and Alice puts one of the tapes in the tape recorder and the tape starts playing back clearer than ever. Alice says that the voice on the tape is the Valia. Back in Star City, Henry starts talking to a mirror and calls for Bud and Bud eventually shows up. Henry tells Bud that he made a device called the cow and that he thinks that he made everything worse. Bud says that he doesn't care about that and that he's coming for Henry. Now this is one of the craziest scenes that we will definitely be talking about in the theory sections because I need some answers and I need you guys to help me out with that one. Joe and Alice get into the cabin and Joe hears a sound that sounds just like Alice call out to her, but no one is there. In the cabin, Joe starts playing a tape recording with her and Alice's conversation right before the ISSS is hit. Alice asks who was that on the recording and Joe says that it was Alice and her right before the accident. Alice says that it wasn't her and that she doesn't speak Swedish and that she doesn't call her mummy. The episode ends with the other Alice walking in the snow looking for Joe. And that is the end of episode five of Constellation. And I gotta say, just gotta be honest, I think for me, at least personally, this is the weakest episode. And it's only because I feel like the character of Joe, they kind of regressed her in terms of a character because there's scenes in here where she's like not believing characters like Wahlberg and Lawrence. 
that clearly are on her side and clearly are cooperating what she has been seeing in space and when she has landed on Earth. And she's like kind of resisting what they're saying because of the article that she read on her phone, which I kind of understand, but it just kind of makes Joe's journey so far kind of stunted because we got so far and she's already, you know, she believes that something is going on. And then these people are pretty much giving her evidence or giving her hints and showing maybe what she has seen is actually real. And she kind of resists that and doesn't really want to, you know, interact with that. But I guess at the end of the episode kind of saves that with the tapes being clear. Also, just Joe in general in this episode kind of, I don't know what's going on with her. She's like leaving her kid in the diner uh, by herself. And she's like, going around, just leaving Alice all the time. I don't know, maybe that's a European thing. I also felt like this episode was a lot of like characters catching up to what the audience already knows. It's like, you know, Joe, we already know that Joe is in a different reality and she is just trying to figure that out. And we kind of figured that this is a different Alice. And so I, I don't know why they, they did it like this because like we kind of already figured that out. And then at the end it's like joe realizes that there's another alice so it just felt like a little bit of a catch-up but i know this might be coming off as a, like i totally hate the episode i didn't really hate the episode that much i just thought those aspects a little bit were kind of confusing kind of weird choices for the episode but overall i enjoyed the episode but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this episode who were your favorite characters do you think that joe was being weird in this episode or is it just me Man, just my untrained eye. <laughs> now we're gonna get into the theory section of this video and there's a lot of stuff I wanna talk about because we got the Henry stuff with the bud and we got Alice being extra weird and the whole Valia situation. Let's get into this. So the first thing that I wanna tackle is the Henry Bud situation. So we kinda see in this episode that Bud is able to go into or manipulate the space that Henry is in. And in this episode, they do talk about that. Like, Irina randomly calls Henry and is like, hey, are you okay? Um, like, she knows what's going on. She says, are you taking your pills? And then she's like, kind of saying like, hey, I read something in a paper that was like, basically, <laughs> you can be at two places at once and what happens in one universe can happen in another universe and messes things up. And I thought that was really funny, kind of weird that she just really randomly knew that or maybe it wasn't random. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you think it wasn't random. But we do see that Bud is able to manipulate Henry's reality and he makes him pee himself, which is probably one of the weirdest scenes in the show so far. And I like how Henry kind of plays it off. He's just like, yeah, um, he's telling Frederick, he's just like, yeah, I, I just want to come with you over there to get my cow device. And uh, yeah, I know I peed my pants, but uh, I just, I just got to change it. I'll be good to go. I thought it was pretty hilarious, but I think the main takeaway with the whole Bud and Henry interaction is the pills that we saw, the lithium pills. In the beginning, I thought it was something that prevented people from seeing the other side of the reality. And I still think that might be a little bit of piece of the puzzle, but it looks like it prevents people from interacting with the other reality in more so like in a physical sense, not just necessarily, necessarily seeing it, but like physically altering the other universe. Hence why we see that Bud was able to make Henry pee his pants, which was, which was weird because they didn't really explain how he was able to do that. Was he just taking a piss and then he, did Henry took a piss? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. But that is one thing that I'm thinking of. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about the Henry Bud situation. It's really weird. One little thing that I wanted to talk about that I found was interesting is when Frederick was talking to Joe during uh, when Joe was like with Alice at the diner. He was kind of hesitant when answering her question about what he knows about the pills. He kind of was like, oh, I don't want to say anything until you come here. So does Frederick know more than we think he knows? Does he, is he like on the similar level as Irina and Henry knowing what was going on? I think that might be a possibility. I don't really have enough evidence to say yes or no yet, but I did find that really interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So this next theory or question or this thing I noticed in the episode might be nothing, but Alice was being very, very reluctant or very adamant against, you know, Joe not hearing the recordings that Wahlberg was showing her. And I found that kind of weird. She was like really like scared 
listening to the recordings and not wanting Joe to hear them was saying like, Hey, you know, this is nothing. It's is nothing. I, I don't know why she was so adamant about it. I, I Maybe she was scared about it, but she could just leave the room and not hear the tapes, but she really didn't want Joe to hear the tapes. But then at the end of the episode, she plays one of the tapes for Joe. And then they start hearing the recording, which finds out, that is Valia. So that was kind of weird. Maybe it was nothing, or maybe she was trying to prevent, you know, her from hearing a certain tape because when the Paul Lannister tape was about to be played, that's when Alice really was getting adamant about like, Hey, don't listen to it. Stop it. Let's go back. So I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want her to hear Paul, what Paul had to say in the tape. Who knows? And also what was the whole thing about uh, the Valia tricks her into not playing? What does that have to do with anything? I don't have any idea <laughs> what that means. I don't know why Irina in a different reality would want to mess with Alice. That's a really big head scratcher for me. I know you guys have a lot of good comments all the time and you guys are way smarter than I am. So probably you understand what that is. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it has to do with the, the paintings that they keep on showing in the show. And this isn't really a theory, it's just something that I noticed that we can kind of like put two and two together. But when Joe was playing the cassette tapes, when she put the cassette player near the cow device, it was able to clear everything up. So we can kind of confidently say that the cow device definitely has some kind of effect with all these realities and is able to connect or bridge the gap between the realities so that Joe can hear the tapes and whatever else is going on. But those are my theories, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you are uh, thinking that they're good theories or not. I know you guys aren't shy, so you'll let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for interacting with this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And remember, guys, keep watching.